2017 was one of the best years for board games, and I wanted to spotlight some of the games that were released that maybe if time has forgotten, or as time passes, we will forget. Today we're going to look at the top 10, but I'm going to give you a bonus one with 11. Top games released for kids in 2017. And here we go! Number 11 is going to be Karuba Jr. This is going to be the bonus one that I'm going to give you. This is taking Karuba, which is a game where you kind of draw a tile like bingo, and everybody has to place that tile out on their board, and they're trying to score points to get to locations. In Karuba Jr., we're kind of doing the same thing, but you have these big blocks. Now, this game is very, very hard to lose. It's going to be a game you're going to win a lot. It's kind of a stepping stone to Karuba, which is already kind of an easy game to play. So this one will, will kind of get kids moving, like tiles moving across paths, and it's a winner for us. Number 10 is Tiny Park. This is a game I find very simple and very rudimentary, but my son loved this game and loves this game still to this day. It's a little Yahtzee mechanic about trying to roll the dice in such a way that you can pick up uh, tiles to place them out on your theme park and you kind of score points for that and you have a finished theme park when you're done It comes in a very small yellow hubba box. It's very fun very easy to teach very easy to play and your kids probably will have a blast with this one Yes, the dice determine a lot. We're gonna do the game is more about pressing your luck Number nine is Captain Silver. This is a really really good kids game and likely should be higher on this list for the most part, you're going to have a track that the players will be going down. You're going to earn coins as you move down this track. There's going to be icons on each of the stat tracks, each spot that you kind of move on it. Reaching into a bag, and you want to feel around for the item, you know, if it's a, a wheel or, or a periscope. And you want to pull that item out of the bag, and that will keep your pirate moving up on the track to score more points. Captain Silver is a winner and a really fun children's game. Monopoly Gamer is one that you probably wouldn't think would be on this list. This is a Monopoly game where you're running around the board and you have a whole bunch of different characters you can utilize in it, each with a unique power. But it, it, it's Monopoly, but it's not. As it, You're running around the board and you're trying to gain coins and it's kind of a race mechanic to it. Every time you go around the board, you fight a boss and it has a dice off. If you're going to play a children's Monopoly, this is the one to get. This is a fun, fun game. And you can collect the little mystery characters, the expansion ones you can put in here. There's a lot to do in this one. And all the powers are unique. And I've done a list on this, explaining what the powers are and ranking them. That's how much we like this game. Number seven is my first Stone Age, the card game. You're going to have a little circle of items. You'll be moving your guy around and picking up items to trade them in for huts, which are the victory points. You get enough of those, you're going to win the game. This game is very unique as it, for kids, is actually a game as you're moving around and you're getting resources and then you're trading those resources in to affect what would be victory points or win the win condition, if you will, if you're getting the three huts. So it starts teaching your kids some things about hiding resources, which resources do you want, and how do you want to turn those in to maximize your effort. This game works on that regard. There was another one that came before it. This is the card game version of it, and it, this is where we find it in the list. Number six is Boom Bang Gold. This has an Old West theme to it. You're going to have dynamites, and you're going to throw them into the middle of the board, and coins will flip over, and you'll race to pick those up. Very fun little game. The components look good. This is a wonderful little game to throw in, especially as that dexterity thing. Plays quick, simultaneously. It's been a winner for us. One I can easily recommend for you. Number five is King of the Dice. We absolutely love this game. It probably should have been higher on the list. The only thing that brings it down a little bit is that it has some downtime as I'm doing my Yahtzee thing. You're standing around just kind of watching me do my Yahtzee thing. So I'm going to roll the dice, Yahtzee, I'm going to match it up with cards in order to score victory points and have different abilities and powers. And King of the Dice is a very fun game. You totally had missed out on this one. This is a hidden gem of the year. It works with families, it works with kids, and it can work with gamers. Very fun little game that I highly, highly recommend. Don't sleep on King of the Dice. Number four is Ticket to Ride First Journey. I'm putting this one so high on the list because it really does condense Ticket to Ride down. Yes, most kids can play Ticket to Ride, but my kids like this one better because it's quicker and had kind of a kid's artwork to it. It was much simpler to play. And my non-gaming daughter really gravitated towards this one, and she still likes this one, to be honest. So First Journey is a great way to introduce your kids' Ticket to Ride. Now they have the little small boxes now that weren't available when this was released. 
but I would still stick with this one for kids. It just has that motif and look, plays quick. It's a very fun version of Ticket to Ride, First Journey. Number three is Dragon's Breath. You're going to have a nice little hobbit game with great jewels. They're going to be in these rings, and as you take the rings off, the jewels are going to splatter. You're also going to be drafting cards. So when you play down a blue card, you're going to get the blues that are released out there. So you want to draft those cards in such a way that you, know, you don't really know what's going to fall down, but you can kind of look at it. and How many jelly beans are in that jar type atmosphere? And when the dragon blows them through, you're going to be able to pick up what goes near us. Some will go down in holes, and they won't be worth any points at all. Very fun game. This is a good one. You should check this one out. Dragon's Breath. Number two is Rhino Hero Super Battle. My gosh, this one probably could have been number one. I have the giant version of this where you're putting the guy out and he's, he's climbing up the top. This takes Rhino Hero and adds a lot to it. This is a very good addition. If I was picking between Rhino Hero and this one, I would definitely take the Super Battle version. This is a very, very fun game. One, it's one of the top dexterity games. I mean, 2017, kids' game was loaded this year for this to be number two. But here we sit. Get this one. If you don't have it, you will love yourself for doing so. Okay, we're at number one, the number one game of the year for kids. It's My Little Scythe. This is a fun resource game. Yes, it takes Scythe and condenses it down into something that's very attainable for children. There's a lot going on here. So this is going to be for your older kids, 8 plus probably, rather than the younger ones. Some of the ones on this has been younger ones. This one will strictly be for maybe more like families, but it's going to be a children's game for us. Great miniatures, great components, great teamwork. Yes, it's competitive, but you have teamwork in uh you're playing like your brother and sister for a lot of these, or you're playing two little miniatures. And it really works really well as you're getting the resources. They're on the board. How do I utilize that? How do I make those into points? But it makes it accessible for children. So great job with my little size. So that's my top 10 games of 2017 for kids. This was a banner year. I actually put 11 games on this list because they were bustling over. There were too many great kids games. I had to put them all on the list because I wanted to bring a little attention to them. So if you have a little person in your family and you really, really want to play some games with them, check out the games on this list. I'm telling you, top to bottom, 1 to 11. You could mix these up and be in any order. I put them in my order of how my family likes them. How did your family like these? Which ones are your favorites? Was there something that I missed? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.